C.S. Lewis once said, no philosophical theory that I have yet come across is a radical improvement on the words of Genesis that say, in the beginning, God made heaven and earth. One of the most amazing spiritual things that I've ever seen was out in Utah one night. We walked way past a campground and up on an open plain. And there, without any light pollution whatsoever, you were able to see the sky with a majesty that I'll never forget. The color and the vibrant stars that are invisible to the naked eye became visible. And everyone that was there that night was awestruck by the beauty that God has created. In Genesis 1, verse 31, it says, God saw all that God had made, and behold, it was very good. And it is very good. If we'll only take the time from stepping back from our cynical vision and our cynical eyes and really see, really take the time to look, we will be awestruck this weekend of the beauty that is all around us all the time. When we consider God's glorious universe, we marvel at the miracle of nature itself. The smallest seedlings or the grandest stars are all part of God's creation. God has placed God's handiwork on display for us to enjoy. And if we'll make time this weekend to celebrate the world that surrounds us, it will do absolute wonders for our well-being and our soul. Today, even as you busy yourself with activities that you have to do and the demands of life that happen even on the weekends, pause to consider the absolute majesty of the heaven and the earth God's creation is as miraculous as it is beautiful, as incomprehensible as it is absolutely breathtaking. The psalmist reminds us that the heavens are a declaration of God's glory. I certainly saw it that night in Utah. That's in Psalms 19, verse 1. And it reminds us that we should never cease to praise God for a universe that stands as an awesome testimony to God's presence and also God's power.